Hey guys, welcome back to another Project Jarvis demo. So this is of our fingerprint scanner version 1.0. You can see we've made a huge leap forward from our previous video of the fingerprint scanner. We now have a nice enclosure. And what I'm going to be showing you today is how everything works together. So without further ado, let's get started. You guys can see what I'm doing right here. So I'm just placing my finger gently on the fingerprint scanner just to show you that my fingerprint is not actually valid and I'm going to be typing in the master code which is 0907 and this enables you to add in um, basically more fingerprints into the system so I've chosen ID number 6 and now you guys can see I'm following the on-screen prompts to store my finger now I've kind of placed it at a we awkward position during the second attempt so that it does so that it says fingerprints did not match that is to show you guys that it does in fact um, not work if you do not match up your fingerprints correctly and thanks to Lady Ada hopefully I'm saying that right she's the one who actually provided the library for this so now you guys can see once again we're following the on-screen prompts I place my finger nicely on the fingerprint scanner and our ID has been stored so I placed it incorrectly and it did not read it and as you guys can see once your finger uh, fingerprint is placed correctly the LED goes green and you can hear the door lock behind the door so in a second we're going to see the door lock right here and you guys can see me testing it out at the same time from two different views behind my door without door lock and in front you guys can go ahead and visit the description if you want to build your own door lock like I have in the video likewise the fingerprint scanner will also be there so this is our RFID reader that's a blank tag and this tag here has my name on it which is the tag that I've stored into the RFID reader and as you guys can see the RFID wor reader works well however it is not completely done uh, you guys can see there's no actual feedback telling you uh, whether or not it's valid or not as you guys can see it does not work when you're using the blank one and does work when you're using the one with my name on it and the fingerprint uh, sorry the RFID reader is situated just before the fingerprint scanner